Hi everybody, I'm Anna and today I'm gonna show you my purse collection. I'm gonna start off with my absolute favorites and then I'm gonna show you other ones that I love and adore but don't actually use as much anymore. And all of those are gonna be going up on my Poshmark because I live in San Francisco in an apartment and I just don't think that I should be dedicating so much storage space two bags that I don't actually use anymore. Without further ado, you might want a cup of tea or wine or, or you know, something to sip on while we chat through my favorite purses. First off, the handle is actually inside the bag, but this is my Fendi baguette. I absolutely love this bag and it has its own separate review, but I really like this bag. And if it's one that you have been coveting, I can say that it is beautifully made and wears super well and I have no intentions of reselling it even though it's worth a lot more than I paid for it 15 plus years ago. Next favorite is my vintage coach court bag. It even has the little tag still on it which I'm glad I, I kept because I took it off for a long time just to keep it nicer but I love the shape and the design of this bag and I think it's actually really similar to the pochette Matisse in like size and everything so actually the reason I bought this bag because I loved this one so much and I just really like the shape I used to also have the Willis and the Willis City Bag and they all in my opinion they're fairly similar except for the Willis has the metal bar and it's a longer longer bad bag as opposed to wide but I love the square shape. I also love that you can carry it by the handle or use the strap and you can take the strap off. You can tuck the strap in and just have it as like a handbag. This makes it good for casual wear and it also looks nice when you're dressing up. The bags are made with cowhide, which isn't the highest quality leather, but it's very durable. And these last for a super long time. This bag is probably 70 or 80 years old and it still looks really nice. It does need some leather cleaner and leather conditioner but if you invest that's another tip if you invest in leather cleaner and leather conditioner you can keep shoes and bags looking nice for so so long and then i actually like my coach bag more than the pochette matisse just because it is such a much less expensive bag but it's super durable really nice and it's very similar design. Again, you've got like the handle where you can use it as a handbag and the detachable strap that you can also put inside the bag. It's got a back pocket, although this one has a zipper, which is more secure. And then this one doesn't, this one doesn't have a turn lock, but it's got like a lock that you have to open. Oh, this one has a bag inside of it. Yeah, and then it's got a front pocket, a middle pocket, and two like back pockets. This is a very stylish bag. It's a trendy bag. I really like it. Really, really like it. I've got my adorable little uh, mini pochette or this has a name. The name, anyway, it's in Damier of, of Bean print. I think it's the Petite Mochette. I'm almost positive, but it is called Petite because it's very small. It's basically got one small back pocket. It's got a very small made it basically big enough for a flat card holder and your phone and maybe a lipstick and some keys so this is etienne and yay i think that, that i'm saying that right but i like it because it's got these little a's on it and my name is anna and this bag in my opinion is one of those brands where you get a lot for your money because the bags are beautifully made like this is a really nice leather bag it's really good for work or i use it when i go on day trips 
that aren't like to the beach. I don't know if that makes sense, but like it's also good for work. You can put a lot of stuff in it, but it stays really organized because it has a lot of pockets. It's got a front pocket, a back pocket. It's got a zipper over the top and then it's got a big, big compartment, but it's got another side pocket here for your phone. It's like basically the size of an Apple phone. And then it's got this pocket, which I have tea in. The It just allows you to put a lot of stuff in here and it feels like it has structure because the bag is structured and it has a lot of organizational pockets. I've got this bag. This is the Goyard Saint Louis tote, I believe. And I got it in yellow. This was really branching out for me because I'm looking at all my bags and virtually all of them are black and brown. I don't know how that happened. It just kind of happened, but I really like this. Um, I'm embarrassed to admit this, but it is, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it is full of sand. I have used this for beach trips and it's actually held up pretty well. There's like nowhere on the bottom. The handles still look pretty good. I would say this is a super durable tote and it weighs less than the god why can't i think of it, the name but you know those the big louis vuitton tote bags are virtually the same size and shape and everything as goyard so i went with goyard because i just think it's a little bit hipper of a brand i liked the color like you know i i wanted something colorful so i got this and i really really like it this is a vintage coach backpack and it's basically it's probably from the 90s my friend gave this to me because she knows i really like them and it just has like that 90s cell phone pocket and the 90s key pocket and then like a little back pocket and a zipper here i've used this so so much i'm definitely not getting rid of this one but another classic another keeper another bag that is going to stay in my keep forever purse pile is this hobo coach bag that is pretty much a y2k style this fits under your shoulder per perfectly and doesn't slip around much like my fendi baguette but it just like curves more under the arm and it looks really small but it actually fits a lot of things so i definitely like this for like going out in the evening or like when i wear a dress i think it's a nice bag so but now we're moving into some other bags and i am going to list all of these on my poshmark because i really like them but i just have too many purses i don't need this money and i'm gonna list them and then take reasonable offers so if you like any of these definitely go look at my poshmark i will link it down below so i don't know the name of this bag but this is a vintage Jimmy and burke it has one of my favorite features which is that it's got handles to make it a handbag and a strap for crossbody however this strap doesn't detach you have to tuck it in if you don't if you don't want the crossbody feature but it has a lot of pockets it's got a pocket in the front and then you open it up and it's got like basically a wallet in here because you can't see but there's like one two three three on each side i'll try to hold it up so you can see but a really good bag it's super well made i really like how it's this light taupe color with the brown there is definitely wear especially right here but i feel like that gives it character i don't know i i do love this bag but i have so many bags that i love that i feel like this one should go live somewhere else maybe meet my co-host mookie he's made an appearance 
right next to my pile of junk. Okay, I was going to clean this out of my closet. This is a hobo bag from the 2000s. These were huge and I had this for so long. I wore it a ton and it's only got a tiny bit of wear on the corners, but to be honest, isn't really, when you look at the whole bag, it's not even noticeable. But it's got this cool brass hardware. It's got suede and then these other two types of leather. Big old crossbody strap, like huge. I mean, you can fit like binders and books in here. I used it a lot in college. Surprisingly, the lining is pretty clean. It's got the official hobo logo. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. And then these adorable, <laughs> little slots that used to hold phones and keys. So this is definitely reminding me of the 2000s. I like it. My husband likes this bag. He kind of said that I shouldn't get rid of it. It's so hard to get rid of purses, honestly. Then I got this one, which I think is so one of a kind. This is a real carpet bag, like made with a hand woven Persian carpet. I've never even seen other ones before, but this is really cool. This bag is, I don't know if it's Orton or Orton or how you should say it, but this is an Australian brand. It's pretty much like Australian, Australian coach, I think. And my mom adored this bag. Then I've got this vintage Dooney and Burke. It's in very good condition. It just needs to be cleaned a little bit. Like this part needs to be cleaned. It's got the strap. It's got just one back pocket and a big center. I think this is a saddle bag. This is Florentine leather. It's Vera Pelle, which means that it's made out of these there are cows in Switzerland and they're not raised with any fencing or barbed wire so that the leather will be very soft and it won't have any imperfections because their skin won't get damaged. Then I've got this bag, which is a vintage coach. It's kind of a shoulder bag. Oh, cool. Okay. Contacts, gloves, more receipts. And it's basically got one pocket on the front, one in the middle, and one in the back. This is a Michael Kors crossbody. My cousin gave this to me, and it's my only white purse. So I feel like I should keep it. I really liked it and used it a lot, but I haven't used it that much lately because it doesn't carry or hold a lot of stuff. And... Michael Kors is not as cool as it used to be. Then we got the coach wristlet. And when I was in high school, this is like what everyone wanted and needed for like date night. But now I feel like it probably wouldn't, it would not, it would not even hold my cell phone. Here is another coach hobo. This is in a light tan color. It is one of those bags that looks small but it actually holds a lot of stuff. And I definitely <laughs> have some stuff in here. It's got a back pocket, two central pockets, these like 90s Y2K cell phone key zippy pockets. That, that was pretty, those were the pockets in every bag in like the 90s and 2000s. So I really like this bag, but the thing is, I just prefer, I prefer this hobo bag to this hobo bag. So I don't really want to keep both. I have a lot of brown bags, like a lot. I have a thing for brown and black purses, apparently. This is a Kate Spade purse. This is pretty much a shoulder slash handbag. It's in navy blue. I just thought this was like the best thing ever when I bought it and I still like it, but I just don't use it. And, but it does have a lot of pockets. It's got like basically three big pockets, the one in the middle zips, and that one has these two side pockets 
and a big zippy pocket. Kate Spade was so hot for a while and I do like Kate Spade, but when it comes to American purses that are like kind of expensive, but also attainable, I think for me, I just like Coach a little bit better than Kate Spade and I'm not exactly sure why. Everyone had to have a Kate Spade for, you know, there was a period in time and I was no different. Now we're down to the last, the last three. And this one I am torn on. Like, I think I'm going to keep it just because it goes really well with this raincoat that I have. This is a Pendleton tote bag with the um, University of Oregon like game day plaid. I don't use this that much, but it comes in handy and like I like it when I travel and yeah, it's a, it's a good, it's a good bag to have. This one I've been using this summer. It's one that I got for my mom. It's like one of the last things I ever gave her before she passed away. So it means a lot to me and I will never get rid of or sell this. This one I never use, but I'm not going to get rid of because it was basically my mom's like favorite purse. And it's just, it's kind of like a Western style with this big flap and it's basically got one giant pocket and then a small zippy pocket. So I would say this is also kind of a shoulder bag, like hobo style, but very comfortable. And that brings us down to the last two. This is from Banana Republic and it's basically just a clutch. These I don't use as much anymore, but this is a Longchamp tote. I actually have another one in black, but that one is not accessible right now. And I love these. I feel like they are a great bag to have, but they're kind of like for travel or they do sometimes make good like work totes if you have to carry a ton of stuff and it's already heavy and you don't want to use a heavy bag. Yeah, also keeping this one, keeping more bags than I thought, but I, I hope this was helpful. I would love to know if there's like a purse that you think I need to add to my collection. I definitely feel like I should edit, but I, if you want any of these, they are gonna go on my Poshmark. And I'm glad that I did this because I don't actually look at my purse collection that much and it was a trip down memory lane and I do really like bags. So if you like this, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell notification so that you will see videos when I post them. And if you've watched the whole video, thank you so much because it is pretty long at this point, but I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a great day. Bye.